AJA Video Systems, proud supporter of Just Seen It, offers a wide range of professional acquisition and post-production solutions. Learn more at AJA.com slash PTV. Ladies. <laughs> Aunt Thomas is a small town fry cook with clairvoyant activities. When a creepy man comes to town with a horde of demons, Odd knows trouble is coming. And communion with the dead? It's not about who's dead, sir. It's about who's who might be. So he teams up with his sweetheart Stormy and the sheriff to stop a disaster in Odd Thomas. Hi, I'm Aaron, and I'm here with Leah and Kevin, and today we're here to talk about Odd Thomas, the newest film from writer-director Stephen Summers. We've all just seen it. Kevin, how odd was it? You know, it was fine. <laughs> I mean, I know that's yeah, not the best no, recommendation. I, know. I didn't hate it, and I really liked a lot of things about it. It just didn't totally work. I feel exactly the same way. I think the source material, the rules, the world, all that stuff is really cool. And the fact that I had never heard about the novel series made it even cooler. But there's some execution problems. Some of the dialogue <laughs> is a little trite. There are a ton of foreseeable twists. Uh, there's some poor genre hybridization. Yep. It's not the strongest movie in the world, but I still found myself being entertained because I let go. And about 45 minutes to 50 minutes in, there was a twist that I didn't see coming. And then I was like, OK. Well, I'm glad that you made all of those comments because now I don't have to say them. <laughs> uh, you know, I found the plot a bit uh, incoherent. I felt like Stephen Summers wanted to go in the same direction in terms of tone and wink wink that we have in The Mummy. But perhaps Anton Yelchin couldn't pull off the kind of macho that Fair Brendan enough. Fraser does. Here's my main problem. They start too quick. He's introducing the world, but he's introducing it like this, so I'm like, slow down for a second. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the world and then let's have the, the crap show start. It was you know an appropriate I mean? pace for me. I mean, it's quick, but if you're interested and you pay attention, I think you can catch it all. I mean, it's not like I didn't catch it. It was just like, let me get into the world. Let me let me look at it. Let me experience yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind of a... It's too fast. It's kind of an assault at first. Yes. There's a lot of style. There's a lot of CGI. But... There could have been a little more slow building status quo. Well, there could have been a little more time taken to really develop this character named Odd. I wanted to know more about him. I wanted to know why I should care about him. I want to know, know more why about I should his care parents. about him and his town, his parents. Yeah, they dropped the parent thing. They show the mom. They dispatched it yeah. really quickly. I wanted to know how he felt about having these kind of special powers. And yeah. is it a is it a plague? Is it a curse? Is it a benefit? Do people want you to like predict, you know, lotto number? What? <laughs> and he they just drew, they gave us this encyclopedia brown kind of character doing right. this detective story, which I didn't find particularly interesting. That's Tom Jed. He was my little league coach. Been hanging around Tire World for years. Although, I don't know why his death was not caused by a defective tire. Such a beautiful girl! I like Anton Yelchin. I think he's cute and sweet. Uh, I really adored him in Like Crazy, a love story that came out a couple years ago. But I have a hard time locking him in as a leading man uh, in this kind of a film, especially when he's having fight scenes and, you know, supposed to be really But kind of he's smart supposed to be doing. kind of odd and nerdy. And, yeah. And you can't, well, I they kept can thinking still fight of too. Jesse Eisenberg. Nerdy guys can fight too. Yes, they you can. You know, I thought about Jesse Eisenberg, you know. I, I, I really liked him a lot in Zombieland, and I kind of, I thought a little bit. It, it reminded me of Zombieland, and I just, I was a little disappointed that Stephen Summers couldn't make a clear decision about what direction he wanted to go tonally. I find it funny how I know more about dead people than dead people. This is our realm, Bob. You can't physically harm a living person. But there is that. I thought Addison Timlin was very sweet. She plays Stormy, the love interest, as we mentioned, and um, she's just a cutie pie. I like her, I think she's cute and she's talented, but there are times when her delivery faltered for me. I just didn't feel that what she was saying was always genuine. I, a mm. lot of times it was, mm -hmm. and very cute, and the thing that I like most about her performance and her character is that she's not just his girlfriend, she's his sidekick, too. She is there as a device, basically, to have him keep from talking to himself and to reduce the amount of voiceover. Our director, Stephen Summers, may be where we have a little bit of a 50-50 split because 
His films, like I've said before, are entertaining. They're fun. You know, this film has a fun aesthetic similar to movies like The Mummy and Van Helsing. But at the same time, he uses very cliche scares when the film <laughs> dips into the thriller horror genre. Mm -hmm. um, some of the CGI I didn't think was that fantastic. But overall, he did a serviceable job. He made it enjoyable. If he had done a bad job, it would have been an unwatchable film. I was surprised that it wasn't quirkier. Because right. you know the mummy has yeah. such a like a wink wink right. nudge nudge. Yeah, it's very and this, culty. I expected to have more of that, and it just didn't. Odd Thomas is kind of odd, but it can easily pass the time on a rainy Saturday afternoon. So I say stream it. Odd Thomas just was not odd enough. I needed the director to make a clear cut decision about what direction to go. There are too many other great things out there to watch. I say skip it. Odd Thomas does have some problems, but it's fun and entertaining, so I say stream it. Well, our votes add up to one full ticket, which is a stream it for Odd Thomas. Cheers. 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 To the Mummy 4. <laughs> Something. Steven Summers, as a director, does have some issues. Uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> have you talked to his therapist, Mother? <laughs> Just Seen It is made possible by Adobe and the Adobe Creative Cloud, including Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and After Effects. More information is available at bit.ly slash adobeptv.